So this problem here asks you to calculate the uh, compound interest um, and the amount that you have is equal to P which is the principal amount you know the initial investment and then R is the uh, interest rate N is the time in years and then T oh, uh, I'm sorry N is the number of times the interest is compounded per year and then T is the number of years so they give you all of the values and you gotta go ahead and set up the expression in such a way that it calculates correctly and most of it should be pretty straightforward you know you know about parentheses you know about the divide you know about multiply how to multiply P and this expression here uh, but the one part that might be confusing to you is how to get a power right and so I want to show you how to do that here um, and maybe it might be better if I show you how you can figure it out for yourself, right? So what you can do is um, Python is a uh, very heavily documented uh, language. Um, there's uh, YouTube videos all over the place showing you how to do different things using Python. It's used very often. It's used in data science, you know, where they do like machine learning. And uh, a lot of programmers um, build like, uh, modules right to support Python um, and and so it's just very well supported and all you need to do if you want to figure out any answers to any of your questions is go ahead and go to uh, Google and let's go ahead and type in Python how to uh, power right how to power a number and we can see right here right away right this is the operator two star symbols right and if you want to look at some examples we can go ahead and click in here and you could see some of the different operations that we can do, right? Plus, minus, negative a number, right? Uh, multiply, divide, modulo, and then the two stars are x to the power of y. And so that's going to be helpful for you um, in this problem here. Um, and I guess one other thing I want to mention is you could go to just kind of any website um, to look for an answer. Um, and I guess that's good for uh, most questions, but once your questions get a little bit more sophisticated, like not asking about the exact fundamentals, then this is the website that you want to find uh, posts on. It's called Stack Overflow. And whenever somebody runs into a problem, they post it up on Stack Overflow and uh, people answer it, like the community goes ahead and answers it and so um, it might be a little bit confusing to you at first when you look through these answers uh, but uh, Stack Overflow is a resource that you want to familiarize yourself with and understand how to like decode their answers because it's uh, very um, well maintained meaning people cannot ask repeat questions on Stack Overflow so if it's been asked once that's the only place that's the only time it's going to be asked um, there's a distinct like structure to the question where it needs to be extremely simplified showing just the problem at hand um, so that it you know doesn't confuse people who are answering the question doesn't confuse people who are looking for answers right? um, so yeah you want to go ahead and start diving into Stack Overflow and looking for answers and learning how to use it it's going to be a great resource if you um, run into issues